Good kitten internet. Meow. So, before we start, I need to explain that I screwed up. I would say fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're recording this out of order. We've actually already done the part that you're about to see. The problem is that I deleted it. Um, when I was copying the files over to my file server, apparently I copied episode... Yeah, whatever. I don't even have the episode numbers up now, but I copied the two episodes after this one and the next one, and not the these two. And when I was cleaning up my folder in order to have enough space to record more, I deleted this episode and the next episode. I realized it, but unfortunately, I had DaVinci Resolve open. DaVinci Resolve's temporary directory is pointed at the same drive that I'm recording off of, because this is my drive that I just throw recordings on, and that means I was unable to recover the data. So I lost about two hours worth of recording. We know what I went through, at least. So we're going to be playing back through it. And yep, this was totally my fault. My apologies. My apologies again. I have already forgiven you, but... Uh, thing the second to notice is that you're going to notice a different graphical quality. The reason being is that at the same time that this was going on... Our TV died. Yes. Uh, in fact, it was actually the morning after the recordings that we did. Um, so that would have been on the 17th, I believe. No. 15th. Yeah. That would have been on the 15th. Uh, the TV is in a permanent boot loop. It turns on, it has graphical artifacting, it turns off. So, I emergency bought a monitor. Uh, it's a 1440p monitor and not a 4K monitor, though. And I've been recording at 4K. Yes, this video is still being recorded at 4K. I'm just upscaling the image to make it not suck. Um, so, graphical quality will probably be a little bit lower. But on the plus side, frame rate will be significantly higher. But wanted to make sure you knew that. That's also why we're in a slightly different position, because we're actually around the corner from where the TV is. I think I covered everything before we start. I think so. I okay. mean, I feel like we forgot something, but yeah. whatever. So, we've already done this content. Sorry. So, you will get the genuine first reaction of his. Yep. I mean, um, I've already done all of this, except for marrying Sam. I haven't married Sam yet. Well, now you're giving spoilers to what's in this video. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but we've already done that. We have, but we haven't in yes, this video. I know. We're in an alternate universe at this point. Yep. So let's go talk to Sam. So you see why I like her? Oh. I mean, we were never a good fit. You forgot to use your power. But Lillian's good people. No. No, we forgot to do Let's our headset. Again. Yes. One moment. Sorry about that. It helps if we have audio that's not coming from, and let me show, this crappy Bluetooth speaker, because that's the only audio I have right now. And that would... Yeah, now it's spinning. Anyway. Let's do that whole talk to Sam thing again. Now it has a light. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean... So you Please see why I like her? I mean, we were never a good fit, but Lillian's good people. I mean, you weren't kidding about her being all about the job. She's full throttle freestyle ranger through and through. I, mean, I got a lot to think about. You know, for the first time in ages, I feel good. <laughs> really good. So listen, in Aquila City, there's an old haunt of mine. On a balcony near a good old statue of... Solomon Co. I want to show you and have our own real talk, okay? And maybe figure out a way to repay you. I has money. I has level up. What did I throw the point in? I don't remember. I think I might have... No, yeah. no it has to be something in this category. Mm -hmm. Um, Not Starship Design, because I don't have that. It might have been Boost Pack Training. Had to have been boost pack training. Unless if it's a random other skill, but I don't think I took one. Well, it's irrelevant, because this is not going to be canon. Yeah. 
Oh, boost pack training it is. I'm pretty sure it was boost pack training. Okay. So, let's head off, because Sam wants to talk in Aquila City. And Gotta get to it. still here. Planning to do here before the rangers pick me up. I don't know what in the world you're going to do. This is a barren, desolate place. But whatever. Not my problem. Hmm. And Cora's going Read back. Read any good books lately? Is there a way Always. to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grav tech cheating. So, how am I doing as a captain so far? You want my honest opinion? I think you're doing great. But there's always room for improvement. I mean, your ship doesn't have a library. Where's a girl supposed to store her books? What about me? How am I doing as a co-pilot? To be fair, if there was a module that added a library, I probably would have built it. I forgot to hit Z first. Bye. You keep installing new cool things in your ship. You want my honest? I think you're doing great. What about me? There we go. Oh, so you're my co-pilot, are you? Yep, that's right. And if you ask me, I'm doing a pretty good job. I keep the ship in tip-top shape and the crew in order, because everybody listens to me. <laughs> but if you think I need a few more lessons... I'm sure there are tons of books on how to be a good co-pilot. Maybe you could bring me one? You do still have a lot of learn. Yeah, but she is great. You are great, though. Yeah. Thanks! Someday, I'll be a captain like you, and then you can be my co-pilot. How about them apples? Hey! How are you? have a favorite book, right? Oh, that's my favorite question. I've thought a lot, lot, lot about this. It's a very important choice, after all. My favorite book is... Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It's about some explorers who go down a volcano and find a secret underground world below Earth's surface. It's a great story, even with the scientific inaccuracies. Back when it was written, people didn't know the center of the Earth is a huge ball of molten metal. Cora, stop running away from me. Hello. Looks like you were right about Lillian being in trouble. Mom always says, listen to your gut. And hunches. When we get out of this, I'm so going to make her read some Sir Conan Doyle. Can you believe she's never read The Hound of the Baskervilles? I remember commenting that I have, in fact, read The Hound of the Baskervilles. And I have not. I had, and it was a condensed version, so it probably was more summarized, sanitized, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, I had a bunch of little classics books. They were about that tall and about that thick. About that big. And there's a whole series of them. My mom got them for me when I was a kid. See you later. Right. We have this time. Nothing like it in orbit. Oh, right. We still have a crappy engine. Reactor. Reac I did that before, too. Star Renegade? <clears throat> You've seen what a new model is going for these days? They're handy and all, but no robe was worth that much. How, how much do they go for? You're welcome to take a gander. Don't know. Why am I even looking? This is not canon. Let's go to Aguila. Yes.
it is kind of sad that there's no fast travel in between different spots of Aquila City like there is mm -hmm. in New Atlantis. Because that would be really helpful in Aquila City. Yeah, at least give me a marker for my house. Mm -hmm. Because I have I a hard time. I spend so little time it. here these days, I. Ah, oh, kind of miss it. I don't think I've heard that line before. I haven't either. Oh, right, I'm overburned. I should sell stuff while I'm here. Or maybe you should just throw it on the ground because it's not like this is. I was just going to do that. Yeah. Because, yeah, this isn't canon. It's so weird. Ugh. Not yeah, sure basically. If those zealots live in space or got separated from their basically, planet. I'm replaying through in order to not mess up plot because I did actually a significant amount of plot in those two episodes. Not mainline plot, but. Oh no, there's a bit of mainline. Yeah. Russia's doing well for herself. Laredo is a big player in arms manufacture. And what are you doing? Hey, thanks for coming here with me. You forgot to use You know, power. I used to truly hate this place. Just beamed him over and over. I can't now. Yep. Well. Uh, hold on a moment. Is there a way to trigger a load from console? You can quit the game. Yeah, but... Triple Q. Uh... But no, I don't think so. Because I also skipped through the first bits of dialogue. That's why mm -hmm. I'm... Oh well, screw it. There's hopefully an auto same when you landed in Aquila and you can do a bit of editing to splice it. Shopkeep called the ranger over who chewed me out good. But once he found out I was a co, he just cut me loose. Actually said, you of all people shouldn't do that. And I wanted to shout, I'm the only one who deserves to. <laughs> but I managed to hold my tongue. It was a close one. I mean, good old Solomon does look like he can take it. He is a statue after all. I can personally attest that the sculptor didn't skimp on the materials. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the post-mission glow. <laughs> I, uh, I miss the old guy. Maybe even Aquila City. A little. With all that's gone on, with what we've been through, I finally feel... <laughs> at peace. Lillian and I, we're never meant for each other. But it's good to have her back as a mother to Cora. It's great, even. It is important to have a place to return to. Yeah. I have been traumatized by not having that before. So, how'd Cora take the news? She was over the moon. Which is good. And for now. But I know Lillian. There will be days when she flakes. Big time. Either way, Cora's better with her in her life. Warts and all. The conversation with Lillian was definitely long overdue, though. Yeah. And without your support, I don't think I ever would have done it. Man, there's so much. But you know, behind every lucky star that's come my way lately, I see, uh... You. I've talked with you about things no one, and I mean no one, else knows. Well, your words have been a great comfort. You know, you live long enough, and you can just get covered in garbage. From the mistakes, the betrayals, the misfortune. It makes it easy to lose sight of the things you should be thankful for. And, as per usual, always take the third option. Because we're both lucky ones. Lucky to find each other. Yeah. I'm the luckiest man I know, then. Sincerely. When we met, originally... And I heard you wanted to travel together. I didn't know what to think. It seemed you waltzed into Constellation so quickly and easily. I thought maybe you were like Walter's bastard kid or ward or something. But, uh... You know, you're pretty amazing. 
Oh, man. I did not mean to click through that. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if Barrett feels jealous because we kind of joined Constellation and usurped his role. He was the one who take, took the ship out on adventures before us. Mm -hmm. And did the crazy crap. Yeah, and now it's us doing all of those things. So, as Kneotera had mentioned the last time we went through this, this is the point where you can start the romantic relationship with Sam. You can start at any point after choosing friendship, but if you want to start going down the romance line, you can choose it here or later. If you don't, just choose friendship and you can avoid it. But we're marrying Sam, damn it. Mm -hmm. I love you, I Sam. I don't mind spending some... Well, I, um... <laughs> You, uh... <laughs> you have a little lost for words. I figured we had something. Some chemistry. Some very real chemistry. I, uh... <sighs> wow. That came out of nowhere. This is a big step. A huge step. If we do this... I want you to know I want the whole package. <laughs> Candlelight dinners, walks on the beach, the whole kid and caboodle. You... You want that too, right? And obviously I want the calls. I was just thinking uh, when I talked about us having chemistry, it's like, yeah, but we could also have physics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we also have physics applying to us. Just saying. But are you sure you want this? Oh, I'm 100% sure. Try me. And I'm gonna hold you to that promise, but we, I damn well better get cuddles. Hell yeah. The whole thing ain't worth it without that. You are the single best thing that's ever happened to me. No, that's I love Cora. you. That's Cora. <laughs> and later on, maybe I'll show you just how much. Now we can't get rid of him. Yep. <laughs> and we get an adventuring hat. Clover, what was that? Oh, that, right. That's over on the elm. That's yeah. previous active quest. There was a different quest that we did here, though. Was there? Yes. That involved putting up various things like... Um... Oh, right! Yes. We were doing that. Yep. So, do you remember where? The... Right around. No. Uh, backtrack. There. Yep. Okay, let's all just take a breath here. We all want to protect people from the Ashta. We're on the same side here. Mm mm, the hell with that. This ain't the way things are done, and that's the end of it. With due respect, I have repeatedly explained that I do not need permission. I, I came to you in the spirit of cooperation, but if this is the reaction... 20 years, we've done this my way, and it has always worked. Always! Why are you trying to fix something that ain't broke? Mr. Wilson, we can deal with the ash to better, safer. We didn't turn down fire or uh, space flight because we'd managed just fine until that point. I will not be talked down to like this. Okay. Miss Alpin... Please don't take any further action until we've had some time to think this over. All right? We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. People around here think we own Akila. They're wrong. The Ashta do. Where did you go? It's Mr. Wilson. Yeah. Oh, he's there. Friend, I gotta confess. I'm not much in the mood for conversation. I know, I shouldn't let that woman get up under my skin, but... Well, I can't seem to help it. Then we had some conversation about how his voice sounds familiar. Yes, and I eventually looked up on IMDb and nope. <laughs> uh, the voice actor has been in some things, but nothing that I've actually seen. Also, as usual. How on earth you do that? Friend, I gotta confess. I know, I shouldn't let... 
But here's the thing, and this is the thing that bothers me about the start of this quest. Nobody tells you anything about what in the world she's trying to do. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, look, how do I know she's out of line? I only heard the end part of that conversation. Yeah, and what was that all about anyway? And it doesn't explain it. Yeah. Girl comes in here with her big ideas about how we defend our city. No respect for the way we've done things for years. No worries about the possible consequences. And expect us to thank her for making our lives more difficult. I tell you, I've never seen entitlement like that. But the thing is, every once in a while someone leaves the door open and an archer goes into the city and kills the civilian. Yes, yes indeed. Or sometimes a security person. Yep. I think I think you might have picked it. Yeah, I definitely business. picked it's none of my business. No, see? Now that's where you're wrong. It's everyone's business. That's the whole damn point. Look, this ain't New Atlantis. It ain't all flowers and chirping birds out there. These walls around us, they're here for a damn good reason. I've trained the guards here for years again for a damn good reason. We get it wrong, we not watching all the time, then the ash to kill innocent people. That's the simple reality of the situation. So when someone struts into town with their untested ideas on how to do things better than those of us who dedicated our lives to protecting the city, that don't go over so well. They could have some turrets. Mm hmm Or even an alarm system. Yeah. But no. I don't do? know some technical mumbo jumbo about sensors and behavior predictions. That's not the point. She expect us to just change up how things work and I can't abide by it. We've gotten along just fine until now. Yeah, th just the beginning of this quest is maddening to me. Because they do everything possible and not tell you what the hell is going on. Yes, she has some ideas about Ashta and trying to defend the city. That's it. That's all we've got. This ain't help. This is thinking you know better than the people that have done it for years. Decades even. It's just arrogance. Look, this is getting my blood pressure up talking about this so damn much. You think you can talk some sense into her? Be my guest. Otherwise, I suggest you leave defending this city to the people who spent their lives doing it. Actually, you know what this does remind me of? Like if we walked in on step three of a quest. Mm -hmm. And they just cut steps one and two out of the game. Maybe. I'm wondering if that actually is the case, because that kind Or if of there's feels the right. previous scene that we just never witnessed. Yeah. But but those are pretty good at having conversations wait until you're in earshot. Yeah. I hit tap while it's auto saving. Okay. Well, you sure don't look like you're delivering the capacitors I'm waiting for. Something I can do for you? So, you need me to get you some capacitors? No, you misunderstand, I think. I placed the order last week. I'm just waiting for it to actually show up. So, did you need something, or...? I mean... You had a disagreement with Davis Wilson, who is a double first name person. But Wilson could be a last name as well, so... And Davis could be a last name. Yes, it's a double name of both varieties. Correction. Mr. Wilson has a disagreement with me. I can't tell if he's just being willfully ignorant or has just entirely misunderstood my proposals. I'm not sure what you've heard or, quite frankly, why this seems to be getting around the way it is. Despite assertions to the contrary, I'm not attempting to run anyone out of a job or open the city gates to allow Ashton to come pouring in. Nor am I in any way attempting to make a statement about the competence of the current security forces and or apparatus in Aquila City. I hope that clears things up. No, it doesn't. 
because you haven't actually told me what you're trying to do. And I once more forgot to hit yep. Z. Well, you sure don't no look like... No one's gonna believe uh, me if I tell them you could do that. All the way from there again. What? This is the beginning. Oh, of yeah. Correction. Miss... I can't tell if... I'm not sure. Despite assertions, nor am I in any... I hope that clears things up. Yeah, that doesn't clear up anything. She didn't say anything. Okay, well, I must need to work on my delivery because I keep having this problem. I just... I need to prove that what I'm working on can make a positive difference. Then you'll see it my way. I could really use some help, in fact, just to make sure this all goes off without a hitch. Would you be willing to place some sensors for me? Sensors? What? Yeah, I need them to start gathering data. Pretty simple. I could do it myself, but at this point, I think Davis may be having someone tail me. He's that flustered. Yeah, I can do that for you. That is great news. Just take these and stick them in specific spots in the city along the wall. When you're done, come find me. I'll find something That's to do in the meantime to give myself an air mm -hmm. of plausible deniability. No, it's oh, just yeah. general security. Alright, so we need to go around the outside perimeter Vigilance. of Aquila City and drop some security thingies. Sensors. Yes, security thingies, like I said. Also, there is a um, magazine somewhere in the stretch. It's not useful to grab either. Hey yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I will yep. mention it till oh, the God, next time. Help! Oh, there's an Ostra on the loose. Where they're running from. Or you, use your second sight. Or... Right, I forgot that I have that. Um, sense, Stardust, Bottom. Over there. there is. Tourist? I uh, give him three minutes. Don't know where it is, but it, there has to be one. Otherwise, they wouldn't be coming. I'm not seeing anybody but people. Yeah, maybe security already got it, but. Maybe. Lost it. Anyway, I'm mostly just trying to finish up these quests. I spent a lot of my misspent youth in Aggies. Uh, watch your back. And your wallet. It'll be nice to see some animals in person. Yeah. Overall, yep, there it is. I really like it here. Uh, I think the free oh, it's killing the animals. Yeah. Or, no, they're probably protected or something. Why is there an ashtray in there? Go for it. How did it get in there? <sighs> Are these years that had capture an ashtray? No, I don't. That's a bridge, it's, it's explosive. Oh, That's right. one of the early bridge. Yeah, there's... Too many things in this area. Shotgun? Uh, I don't have a shotgun. Huh. You have coachman, too. Oh, yep. Burp Sam is taking care of it. This feels like old times. Yeah, that actually probably does feel like old times for you. Now, did anyone die? It doesn't matter because doesn't, this isn't exactly. Happen. I was actually going to leave the Astro alone because of that, but we have other things that we need to do in this spur of canon. Oh, our parents aren't here this time. Oh right, we ran into our parents here. Yep. At this exact point this of the just what the stretch needs. More down on your luck, animals. Well, I guess we don't get to show off that conversation this time. Because we actually encountered our parents 
twice during the videos that we mm -hmm. recorded. Is it another Ashta? Somebody must have left the gate open. Yep, that person just went inside. Smart. Yes. Use your sight. I can't use the sight inside of you. No, you can't. You're still a human, right? I actually met a guy that finished the Red Mile. Yeah, but he lost an eye in the process. I'm not going to worry about it. But he did walk away with a pile of credits. And I mean, you got two eyes, right? Yeah, but that perception is nice to have. Is this character? That's right. This is the character that hasn't been to the Red Mile. The sensors are pretty durable. I mean, don't go using them as target practice, and they're good to go. Round one. Three cog. Seriously, I swear the game does not register keystrokes. You got some it. good news, I hope. Yes, I can see through your brain. I'm waiting for it to finish. There we go. Yep, your sensors have been placed. Yeah, we're not being paid for this, by the way. Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. I am not hacking the security computer. Oh no, I wouldn't think of asking you to do that. I'm gonna hack it, but I <laughs> no, need you to get that job. guard away from it long enough for me to do it. Let's just not go crazy here. A nice small distraction. Should attack? I should only need a few moments. <laughs> so, I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. As soon as you've got him occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Optional. Steal something in front of the guard. Yes, brilliant plan. I mean, it worked, but... Yes. Then we'd have a bounty. I don't want a bounty. I mean, we'd just well, pay Just it keep off, your but... gun holstered during your stay. You'll be good in my book. What brings you to the wall? Boredom. Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. So, I want to have a romantic date here. Hoping for some privacy and discretion. The view from the top is especially good at setting the mood. Good luck. Yep, all we had to do is pay for it. Ouch. That didn't go well. Eh, just dislocated the leg. It's fine. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. I mean, I did dislocate a limb. And that was not my proudest moment. Yep. And yet, you have aided in the advancement of science. And Once enough data dog. has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis. That my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. So yeah, the next stage of this is waiting 24 hours. Um, and yes, I constantly forget to use precognition, even in the version of the game that I deleted. So, at this point, I believe what we did next was that we went back to Mia. Yes. Evening. Um, for the Neon might card, off, might I recommend you see. lower the volume on your headset? Or less? Or would that actually be worse for your cacophony? Because you wouldn't be able to yeah. hear them. You're over encumbering head past trouble. Oh, I sold things where I wouldn't be over encumbered. Much. No, I'm not. I'm eating. Yummy.
It must have been from looting the Ashtar. Anyway. Mind shift. <laughs> oh, that's oh, I already need to talk with Sam. So maybe I don't actually have to go all the way there to trigger the next part. Maybe I can just turn around, talk to him, and get out of my ship again. Mm -hmm. Which would be more I'm efficient. Missing. Yes, you are, Sarah. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Yes, you not being next to me. Thank you. The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats yeah, off to you. When I was growing up, ah. everyone was afraid of Terramorphs. How they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time. The carnage, the destruction. The stuff you've done here could save so many lives. Yep, yep, blah, blah, blah. Um, Need to check on the girl Sam. child. That is, uh, something else. So I just noticed that I'm uh, taller than When Sam. the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. I'm trying to. The whole Terramorph situations. When I was growing up, everyone, how they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time. The stuff you've done here. Okay. I mean, Terramorphs were the boogeyman for me growing up, too. Eat your nutrient paste or the Terramorphs will get you. Were you ever told that? I don't know about these Asilis. That micro would wipe out the Terramorphs for good and certain. I mean, the Asilis? It'll take longer, take more hand-holding, and there's no saying the Asilis will fully get the job done. I hope for all our sake you made the right call. Everyone doesn't like them. And I remember that Sam did not like me choosing the first option. I suppose the United Colonies. Hell, everyone and everywhere owes you big time. That's even happened. if they don't know it. As Sam starts moonwalking and vibing. Never quite had a friend like you. Can I tell you something? Oh, I like the sound of that. Every day with you is magical because I keep having to cast the spell that I constantly forget to cast. I love you. It's amazing that something so simple to say can change your life. How do you feel about our relationship? You're the first person I've been with where I feel there's no clock ticking, no shoes dropping. It's the real deal. Just wanted to hear you say it. Nope, I don't think it's working out. What? <laughs> <clears throat> you just like watching me squirm. It's kind of entertaining. Yeah, you I want to talk to me again? You know where to find me. I think you need to get this affinity up a little higher before yeah. it'll trigger the... But not much. No, not much. You just do a thing where he yep. likes... I yeah. think to remember before, all I did was go to um, Neon. And then he wanted to talk. And that was it. Yeah, it's like right we thought we were doing... All the Nope, we're getting married instead. Yep. <laughs> Oops. A slight difference. Yeah, the affinity keeps going up slowly just by being around each other. Mm -hmm. But Retro it goes up much faster if you do something he likes. Or do or say. Mm -hmm. Oh, lie. Is that... An actual star name, though? I think so. And what about Yunibu and Indum? Those don't... I'm pretty sure all of the actual stars are real star names. Even though all the ones named after scientists... Oh, those definitely are. Personally, I think Neon's the heart of the Free Star Collective. Let Ryujin Industries help you get there. Fill out an application today. You, you're, um... <laughs> you're something else. I found some stuff. Nothing too exciting, Sam, but it's your eyes look like you are currently stoned. Just saying. Another time then. All right. Want to <clears throat> so, and hone those corporate skills? all that money can buy. 
We need to investigate the cellar. Oh, well, when I'm searching for Google Eye on the internet, I just find Starfield and there's a uh, airline called Volaris, which is default. Okay. It's like, no, I'm not booking a flight to Neon. <laughs> That'd be a very long flight. Yes! You kind of need to invent the crab drive. Devin and Nastis Otherwise... run into some trouble. Word to the wise? You don't want a piece of that. <laughs> that happened the other time, too. Mm-hmm. Well, time to go to the Astral Lounge. I hope you like your vaporwave aesthetic. Although this is the type of lighting that burnt out all of those Crypto Bros eyes with the UV. Uh, there was an event... Oh, up. Oh, our parents are here. Yep. Um, there was an event... This place is insane! ...that a bunch of Crypto Bros threw a party. Mm -hmm. Like a bunch of rich Crypto Bros threw a party in. Uh, outside of North America or Europe, I can't remember exactly where, somebody, uh, somewhere over in East Asia, if I remember right, and they cheaped out on the UV lighting that was everywhere, where they used UV lighting for sanitization. Oh no. Instead of UV lighting for prettiness. And it caused a bunch of people to temporarily go blind. And did retinal damage. Yeah. But... First, we need to talk to our parents. Because, yes, our parents are here. Just so you know, your mother's missed you. <laughs> like a lot. Oh, I don't see what the big deal is. I'm going it's all to legal. This time. That is simply. Well, uh. <laughs> hello. Didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> You guys are so busted, though. I'm glad at least one of us is having a good time. All of us? Your so mother found a deal. Practices. One hell of a deal. An all-inclusive vacation package to Neon. <laughs> it's a retirement present. And, uh, well, everyone's heard about the Astral Lounge. Please don't tell me you're trying Aurora. I mean, YOLO? We're just here for the cocktails. We are? Yes, that's it. <laughs> oh, wait, what What are you doing here? Yeah, nothing good happens here. <laughs> I've been here long enough to know that. This is also where I brought up the fact that um, both of my actual parents were drug users. Um, my mother really liked weed and my father liked weed and pretty much every stimulant known to mankind. But I am, in fact, here for an official reason. Unlike you guys. Unlike you guys. Figures. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> so, um, let's pretend this never happened. Hmm? Why? Oh, I do think that would be best, sweetie. Oh, I don't see what the big deal is. It's all legal. <laughs> What's up? But yeah, my parents Hello. were... Frequent drug users until yes. a little what? bit before I was conceived. So, what'll it be today? Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. I don't do chems. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Yeah. I have heard similar conversations before in real life. You know, certain drugs are for addicts and, you know, those people. But these drugs are not. These drugs are for the rich and affluent. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I have a meeting here later. I'm kind of worried about security. 
The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Let's say I need security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Uh, 1,000 credits is a bit high. I was only given 1,000 for spending money. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Well, I mean, surely a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP Not status? Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. I remember we failed this... Yep. Um challenge and opted to not pay for it uh no that was with my individual oh, character that your... that's part of the problem is that i also just did this with yeah. my other character but if you lower the fee i'll be sure to stop by the astral lounge every chance i get yeah, i'm sorry but promises make for poor time. currency well i'm just gonna auto persuade because i can or you could you know, pay, oh, yeah, pay, I guess I could just pay for it. It's not that big of a deal, but... Walter Stroud is coming yep. personally. Walter Stroud is coming personally. Mr. Stroud is coming to the Astral Lounge. <laughs> now, that is interesting. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. You know, a thousand credits is exactly what my budget allows me to pay. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. And, um... They don't have the other question. About the... Yeah. Door security? Yeah, door security stuff is gone now. Yeah, you, you only get to... Uh, Ask about one of them, I think. No, you can ask about both. You just have to do it in a specific order. Yeah. Which Enjoy the lounge. Kind of. Yeah. So, like if I remember correctly, yes. what happened last time is that Sam asked to talk while I was on my way back. Take it easy. Hey, go go check the door. Yo, yeah, yeah, that's right. Although I did that in the second video, but that's fine. It'll be a little up. It'll be fine. You don't want to pick a fight with me. Not really, but that's because I'd have to clean you up. Oh, we check out the door controls at this point, which requires unlocking at novice. Like that, and like that. That's the right Slot the other one first, because yeah. it has a double. Yeah, there it is. The room has been booked by Redacted. Good old Redacted. Best customer. But now we have control over the doors. Because we're awesome like that. Hope you find the uh, good stuff on there. And I'm pretty sure I directed us to find the magazine in VIP booth 1. Yes, which is over here. Neon Knights 2, which gives us the power to create Steve. Steve is a mix <laughs> of Aurora and Panopticon. Some folk never leave there. All good things, right? Steve. I don't know why it's called Steve. Yeah? It's the elevator. The elevator is very inconspicuous. Anyway, I seem to remember that when I had exited before, the bolt, when I had exited before, I accidentally went through the middle of Neon instead of going off to the left. Yeah, but you still need to investigate the cellar. Yep. Oh, think, that's right. I think we did that first. The yeah, we time. did do that first. You're right. No problem. And that was an episode, wasn't it? No, that's James Newell. Oh, right. He knows. And then he held the there to go to episode. There's no problem with trying to do things out of order. Huh? 
thing. Oh, Especially when I just did that. Welcome to civilization, Kalpok. I heard that comment in uh, in New Atlantis. Hey. hey there, friend. Need something? Dual Goods has a full line of equipment and accessories. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. So, there's a bunch of quests in Neon that I'm not doing in this character. I've done them with my other character because I was a nitty, nitty Sion. Neon City Street Rat. And... This character is just not involved with Neon all that much, not to mention it causes a lot of cacophony for them, so I'm trying to minimize my time here. So, we're going to be skipping through some of this. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sigurd himself. That man has absolutely no respect. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Maybe you should mind You're completely business. missing the point. This is everyone's business. It really isn't. Unless all of the merchants on Neon Unify will continue. Anyway, sorry. Yes, you can. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around. No, actually, I'm. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's say that you did. Information isn't usually free. But you already got paid twice for this connecting the seller with Walter. We're not paying New twice. intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. That actually worked last time. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of fragile objects in the shop. Shame something were to happen to them. Try it. I'm all paid up with the right people. He's lying. He doesn't pay security. No. You need to tell me what you know. Sorry, but I can't. Eh, I'm done talking. Not get Well, these credits say that you're not done talking. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bay, you that other place. New Wells Goods. We have everything. Alright. Let's go to the sleep crates, which are in Ebside, which is significantly quieter at least. You still have the Humsinger's place of Euphorica with their ads. True. But there are far fewer ads. Yes. Because the shops aren't as close together. Mm hmm. It'd be so much worse if Euphorica and Madame Spaches were right next to each other. So, this is Sleep Crate 1 for reference. It's the um, living quarters of this area. This does not require sneaking according to the art. This is not right. It's going to be, has to be there. this and this. In some ways, I think I actually prefer more than Novice Lock. Fox must hate you. They kind of do. So, first off, there are these statements and so on around. There's I'm three of them the total. And I missed one of them when I was recording before, so we get to see it all. Please be advised that your current pay cycle will once again leave you with a near zero balance in your account. Eating nothing but the Wishi ramen and Ganok pancakes? Yeah. Due to changing priorities within your organization, your role within Slate and auto, uh, auto Space, Aerospace, has been made redundant. Please clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your imminent departure by the end of day. We thank you for over a decade of service and trust that our outstanding relationship will keep this transaction free of unpleasant incident. Outstanding. He said outstanding. Yeah, it's fair. Good for your head. Well. So, we have three personal correspondences as well. Uh, Musgrove is the name of the contact for reference. The seller. Or the seller, yeah. And I'm not going to read these out loud. Uh, I probably should. You might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken interest in. Now, I know you're gamefully employed, but it's a little hard for a little chat. 
Besides, I've got some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you. I think I might know who's sending these messages now. Oh. Not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days that you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. For our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume that you're being watched. Only a matter of time before they come for you. Who do you think is... Administrator by you. Would he even concern himself with something like that? Yes, because it's Walter involved. So there's a lot of credits. Uh-huh. You there's know what There's a lot they of say. credits involved. There's... Bayou is the only person that has his thumbs in everything here. What I don't sell ends up in trouble. Coming right now. And you may even have a chance. My only guess. Anyway, we're going to be ending it back here. I'm just going to be heading back to... Craig Tower. Be careful if you run into those people. Why does everyone want to talk to us? I just maxed out the weightlifting thing. Fortunately, not the right character. Or not the right spur. So let's go over to Stroudak and Corporate Headquarters. I remember we went to the other things and got the magazines. Let's go get them just in case if that triggers things. Not to mention, it'll help show the people watching. Of which there are one Starfield player, where things are. What do you want so to there's do one magazine break, that was... I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. Here, isn't it? If you yep. listen to non-stop interruptions oh, since this me. morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk the listening to Cody three. Eat with his mouth Wait, open. Get the O2 Can't shot. Can't talk, I've got a deadline coming one of those days, huh? What? Yeah. Like one of I'm O2 working shot here. might be useful right at the beginning, but once you have personal atmosphere, it's kind of redundant. Yeah, kind of is. Uh, the other one was in... In a rush. Yeah. There's also one in Slayton, but, but we'll we be... can't get that right now. Yeah, we can. Oh but, yeah, that's but, right. We can't. But we're but... going there later anyway. Yep. Uh, it's right here. Yeah. This one gives us Adijack. Which is Adichrone and Neurojack. Yep. So again, you're out there a lot, that right? In suppresses space? your addiction symptoms and makes you better at research. Spacers. Mm hmm Which seems like a good combination. Really? I think it seems completely weird. Weren't they going to have a conversation? Doesn't look like it. Any luck out there? I've found out that the seller is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Different just in case. Good luck, all of you. And we're going to go ahead and stop this here, because we're at time. Actually, slightly over. So, I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye! I should say first off. Bye!